What's up people? Hope you're doing great and welcome to my channel Brand Tech Solutions and today we are going to talk about how to create DHCP scopes using PowerShell if your DHCP server is hosted in Windows Server 2008 or 2. The reason why I'm stressing Windows Server 2008 or 2 is this server by default comes with PowerShell version 2. But the thing is we cannot create DHCP scopes using PowerShell if you are on Windows Server 2008 R2 because it has version 2 but for creating scopes we should have a version 4 and do we have any option for that? Do we have any alternations where we can uh, still use PowerShell to create DHCP scopes even though our DHCP server is on 2008 R2? Of course, we do have this option and this is a workaround or we can say this is an alternate solution and which is we should at least have another server in our in, in our environment which should be 2012 or 2. So let me just show you. So this is my DHCP server which is 2008 R2 and just real quick let me show you uh, the commercial version which is installed in this server by default so you can use this get hyphen host to get the version which is 2008 I am sorry version 2.0 and we cannot use this version so uh, this is my DC so basically I have my uh, domain controller installed in Windows Server 2012 R2 but it doesn't matter uh, as long as you have uh, another server which 2012 auto you, you don't supposed to have and you don't need to have DC in it it could be any server it could be any member server which you have in your uh, environment with 2012 auto so uh, the first thing I mean by default uh, this DHCP module will not be installed in this 2012 auto publisher so for example let me show you so uh, basically these are the two commands that we are going to use to create the DHCP scopes completely with all the options in it. So uh, let me explain you what we what do we have here and real quick. So add hyphen windows feature space hyphen name DHCP space hyphen include management tools. This command will make sure uh, we have the DHCP scope installed in it. If it doesn't have it as soon as we run this command it will install it so the main point add dhcp server v4 scope and then set dhcp server v4 option value these are the two commands that we are going to use to get the scope created with complete information that we have so let me explain this is the first command you have to use and space hyphen computer name and the computer name should be your dhcp server name and minus 192.168.0.20 and you have to mention the name of your scope and then the description of your scope i just mentioned it's my first dhcp scope and probably you can have whatever you want and it could be same for the you know name and description which would be a simpler one so the next thing start range so my ip starts with 50 and ends with 60 and then we have to definitely mention the subnet mask which is as you can see 255, 255, 255, 250 and then the list duration so this is three days so you just have to make sure you are following the right uh, format otherwise you will get the error message and then I will uh, enable uh, the DHCP scope as soon as I create it so I have mentioned active so uh, once you have done with this command you will only have these options alone so you know for the complete DHCP scope we should have the router name the DNS server name and the domain name everything should be mentioned in there so for that we have to use the second command which is set hyphen DHCP server v4 option value so again you have to mention the DHCP server name which is 20 and then the router name and then the DNS server so I don't have a uh, secondary server so this is my primary one so I just mentioned it alone if you do have the secondary server you can mention it as well there and then the DNS domain my domain name is trend.com and then the scope ID so this is the identification uh, for uh, you know the uh, the which 
for which uh, scope you are going to add these options values in it so uh so just just for your uh you know the knowledge purpose i'm not going to run this first command and i'm straightly going to run the second command i'm going and i'm going to show you what will happen so play it see there the term add hyper dhcp server before is not recognized as the name of command that function blah 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 things the reason why we are getting this error just like i mentioned we did not import or install uh, the dhcp module for this powershell so for that we have to use this command let me just wipe it out and then play so see it will be collecting the data and it will be installing in it maybe in a minute let's give it some time running for that's my boy i thought it's some lazy but it's fast come on you're almost done come on come on Okay, great. And you don't need to worry about the uh, warning, but it's installed successfully. So let's uh, start with our first command, which is add have an easy visible visual visual scope. Delete that one, paste it right there. Let's play this. Running script selection. Let's just give it some time. that's done so let me just show you uh let's open the dhcp server expand it i need the force tada we got it so if you look at the scope option you will just have the dns server name brand.com and then if you go to address pool we have 50 to 60 ip address range but we don't have router uh, address details so for that only we have to run the second command which is set hyphen dhcp server b for option value and we will have the router name and the dns server name as well as we run the next command and that's all that's done already boom so i'm going to refresh this and see if it's updated or not refresh refresh scope option there we go we got this router name dns server name trend.com the address pool should be 50 to 60 everything should be good now and that's all we got so as a summary and uh, we don't need to run this command one by one you can just copy everything and just paste it in the script pen so uh, i'm gonna so i mean for for this time we don't need this uh, importing the module that's not needed right now i'm going to play this and let me just delete the existing one right click Tell it yes. Go back to the server. So this time we are not going to run the command separately. We are just going to run it together. Let's hit play. That's completed already. Let's just test that. So it's not right here. Refresh it. See, this didn't even take a second. So address pool fifty to sixty. Scope options. Router name is there, DNS server name is there, domain name is there. That's all, guys. So, um, oh, why did it miss that? 
okay so uh, if you are in a situation where you have to create bunch of THCP scopes you know if you are using the GUI it will take you know two to three minutes for one scope creation but if you use these commands you can get it done within like two three seconds but one thing you have to do is you know uh, you have to change the name and description and then the start range and the end range and the uh, router name and then the scope ID besides that everything else gonna be same you know the computer name which is TACP server name that will be same and then the DNS server it will be same DNS domain will be same so so these things will be always common so you know you just have to mention um, I mean uh, mention only these things name description start range IP range and you know even subnet mask and this duration is gonna be same so you don't need to worry about that so you know uh, what I will do is I will just copy this and if I hit Control H it will ask for find what I will mention this and oops, and replace with for example my um, second DNC scope. So if I do this replace all it will it will just uh, replace my name and description and also uh, you can replace the start range and end range as well so this is just replacing things you have to do for every I mean each and every uh, scopes that you are going to create but it will definitely reduce some time when we are comparing it to uh, creating these scopes using GUI rather than with PowerShell it will definitely save you some time and that's all guys I'm gonna uh, make a note of all these commands in my description below so you can use it you don't need to type everything you can just copy paste and just replace it with your uh, server names and every other scope options that you are going to have that's all guys I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it will be useful for you as well in the future and do subscribe if you haven't done it and do like and if you have any doubts you can always comment in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye